came out the he came it's out the laundry, laundry building with a door with the window was open. He came he, out that. He could building. have came out there because you know we, we cleared that. No one was in there. No. John is in the back. Hey, sweetheart. You okay? Come here. Come here. Come here. Children are the responsibility of the adults in their lives. These adults are expected to protect them from the cruelty of the world. It becomes heartbreaking when adults abuse children and uplifting when these abused children are saved. In today's video, we'll be looking at five cases of children who suffered from abuse and how they were saved. For some children who have gone through being kidnapped, getting over the sad experience is made easier with their parent around. But what happens when the kidnapper is the parent of the child? Come on out, man. We know you're here. On October 15, 2023, the police, in response to an Amber Alert resulting from the complaint of a mother of a five-year-old boy, arrested a man suspected to have kidnapped the child. According to her, there had been an arranged visit between her and the father of her child, and he decided to take drastic decision of snatching the child from his mother at gunpoint. He came out the, he out, he came out the laundry room. building with a door, with yeah, a window was open, he came he, out that He could building. have came out there, because you know we, we cleared that. No one was in there. No, he came out of there, I'm telling y'all, he really did. I watched where, where, where did he go, dear? Where you... he, he stood by the laundry door uh, with the did, little boy in his hand. Did you see where he, where he walked off to? When the officers present had successfully gotten everyone inside the building where the kidnapper was camped, outside, they tried to get him to surrender. When that didn't work, they got the SWAT team to step in and take over the situation before it became uncontrollable. This time, with their hands up, this is the Akron Police Department. Alright, got a couple of adults in the living room, there's a kid. Hey, come on out! Bring the kids out! They have to hurry up. The door has to be open in the vice grips. Right, one at a time. Get the kids yeah, out. That's my wife. Bring your kids. Eleanor. Get the kids out. Let's go. Come on. Bring all the children. Eleanor, come here. Come here, sweetie. Ellie, come here. Come here, baby. It's okay. It's okay. I know. We are just camping. You got nails ready to come out behind the female. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's it. Okay. That's all. No, 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 no. That's my buddy. When the kidnapper realizes that the odds weren't in his favor anymore, he let the child go and surrendered himself. John is in the back of the children. One is all the time. Over here. Behind the cruiser, guys. Over here. All over here. Let's get back down. Is that everybody? Yeah. Hey, don't let him go. With the cigarette, don't let him go. Not that one. The other one is just more fire. We have someone with him? Yeah, we got him. He was taken to the station when the officer asked why he hadn't come out the house when he was asked to and he denied hearing being called out. What's that, man? At least it's warm. Yeah, it's real warm. Did uh, that, that heat feel good in there? Yeah. So, dude, I tried to talk to you for an hour. You didn't come out. The guy that was out there talking to you, I know you heard me. No, I asked the guy, didn't he? I asked the guy talking to me out at the house. A nurse was later brought in to examine his injuries. The man was arrested and charged with kidnapping abducting a child and domestic violence while the child was adequately looked after. Check you out real quick. All right, so what happened, buddy? All right, what happened to your head? Okay, so you don't know what happened to your head? I guess I fucked me when I was in the hospital. Well, sometimes child kidnapping crimes are committed by the parents, other times strangers are responsible, and this can be a simple mistake or happen when parents don't pay attention. On January 5th, 2016, the police got a report involving a three-year-old girl who had just gone missing. It's important to know that this time of the year, winter is in its full glory. Hi, sweetheart. You okay? Come here. Come here. Come here. I know. Come here. Come on. Come on. Sit my clothes. You sit warm, okay? You sit warm in here, okay? The little girl had been in her mother's car with her mother away when the car was carjacked by some thieves. These thieves could have found a suitable place to drop her off, but they decided to leave her on the road in the intense cold. She was found cold and scared in the middle of the road by a patrol team who got her warmed up and checked for any medical issues before taking her back to her mother. Unfortunately, the thieves behind this incident haven't been caught. But how cruel can a mother be? How emotionally damaged can one be to kill their children after brutally abusing them. On June 24, 2023, the Mexican police got a report that sent the officers on duty hurrying to the scene. Units, be advised, it looks like the mother has stabbed her sister. We're trying to get rid of her. We don't know where she's at. We're out. A woman had stabbed her sister and child 
but nothing prepared these officers for the chaos that they were about to encounter. Sheriff's Department! Public safety! Got someone in here. You're moving in there? Yep. That's authority. Buddha. When the officer eventually gained access to the bathroom, he found the mother trying to harm her child and probably cause her death as she held the child's head underwater in the bathtub for only God knows how long. The officer was able to revive the child by performing CPR, while the other officer got a hold of the mother. Unfortunately, the police arrived a bit late because this woman had already killed the other children. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, then please take a moment to do so as it helps out the channel, and don't forget to turn on post notifications too. Sometimes a child can be saved, thanks to the vigilance of the neighbors. Concerned neighbors had drawn attention of the police over the living conditions of this little child as they feared that he was being bullied by his mother and her boyfriend. You're gonna have to check on the kid one way or another, bro. So you can make this harder or you can make it easy, dude. You wanna take my kid from me? When the police got to the scene, the mother and her boyfriend refused them entry while trying to make the situation as light as they could by trying to sell lies to the police about the welfare of the child. The officers knew that they had to get into the house because obviously the mother and her boyfriend had something to hide. When the officers did, they were greeted by an awful situation that no child should be in. So the lights working? Yeah, the lights working. I just have them off because my bill is so high. Like I said, he's crazy. He jumps. He rolled off the bed. Are you taking my gun? Hey, wait, 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 freeze! Don't start. No, you're taking my son. He was folded up on his bed, probably from fear of being beaten, and he didn't look well. But as you would imagine, his mother put up a lot of resistance that could easily be mistaken to be out of love for her son. She went to the extent of accusing the child's father of being responsible for the abuse. The mother and her boyfriend were arrested for assaulting an officer and went to jail for domestic abuse. While the child was taken into the custody of the Albuquerque Children's Youth and Families Department, until a relative couldn't be found and trusted to take good care of him. We've discussed cases of abuse, but neglect is another way that the life of a child can be put in danger. On June 24, 2019, the Florida Sheriff's Deputy was making the rounds in the neighborhood when two ladies pulled him over with one of them holding a child that they had seen on the roadside. Who's? Did we find? No. I just pulled over. They were walking in the road. Yes, his face. He actually. Oh, I know where he, I know where he is. I think I'm pretty sure I know which one. He's from that one right there. Oh, good. I'm pretty sure. So. Hey, buddy. I don't know. If you want to come to me, or are you good over there? I'm looking at you. Apparently, this wasn't the first time this officer had found this child wandering around by himself without his parents in sight, and so the officer could easily tell where the child had come from. When he didn't get a response from the house. He took the little boy to his car and kept him company while trying to get to the godsent ladies to pin down their account of how the child was found. In his report, the officer mentioned that the child was covered in bed bug bites, and this showed the unhealthy environment that he has been living in. I know it's so cool. Right? Look at you. All right. You, you can. You want to sit in your in your car? Okay, Go ahead, yeah, where it's nice and cold, and I'll hang out here with Thank him. You. What's up, little man? You like it in here? Where's your mom at? Where's your dad? You are full of bug bites. Yeah, that's, that's my uh, traffic vest, so I don't get run over by cars, you know? Unlike the first time the parents of this child were arrested for child neglect, the officer was all out to get them to face the music this time around, because he was clearly irritated at the reoccurrence of this sad situation. The parents were found and interrogated before an official arrest was made. In his statement, the father claimed that they were sleeping when their child walked away from the house. In his conversation with his colleague, the officer confirmed that the little child has a sister who now lives with a relative and he has been asked to handle a case of neglect concerning them. The parents were arrested once more, but it's surprising how the father kept asking why he was being arrested like he hadn't done anything wrong. After arresting their parents and taking them into custody, the officer reached out to the Florida Department of Children and Family, and hopefully the children will be taken care of by parents who would love and care for them. Children are special and should be shown special love and care. 
If you suspect that a child is being abused, it is your responsibility to call the police and take a look at the situation. What case surprised you most? Let us know in the comments. Please like the video, and if you haven't subscribed to this channel, hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you don't miss another video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.